Hello, Dental A Team listeners. This is Kira Dent, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for being part of my Dental A Team family. I seriously love doing this podcast. I thought I was going to hate it, and I love it. I love it so much because I get to connect with you. I get to hear how this podcast is helping you and your practice be better. So if you have loved this podcast and you are willing to share, I would greatly appreciate if you'll share with your friends, if you'll leave us a review, if you'll give us five stars, anything you can do, just like you guys grow your practices, we're trying to grow this podcast to positively impact the world of dental. This is how we get to grow our Dental 18 family. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to the Dental 18 Podcast. We're your hosts, Kira Dent. And Dr. Mark Costas. Mark and I had this crazy idea that maybe we could combine a dentist and a team member's perspective because let's face it, dentistry can be a challenging profession with those two perspectives. And Dental 18 Podcast was created. I'm a practicing dentist, a multiple practice owner, a dental performance coach, and the founder of the Dental Success Institute. I've been a dental assistant, treatment coordinator, scheduler, biller, office manager, current practice owner, and international dental consultant. Mark and I don't just understand you, we are you. Our goal is to positively impact the world of dentistry by sharing our lessons learned from the road in hundreds of dental offices. Two perspectives, one mission, to help dental professionals reach their full potential. Welcome to the Dental 18 Podcast. Hello, Dental A Team listeners. This is Kira Dent, and I've got Dr. Summer Casmo back with me. We're going to do a quick tactical. This one's going to be short. We only have so much time. Mm-hmm. So we're going to dive into this because both Summer and I have, have been asked, and we've come up with different ways of how do you find a team member's motivation and keep them motivated. So we're going to come at it from two different angles, Dr. Summer, and then I'll also come in as an office manager so you guys can see both sides of the coin. So Summer, welcome back. Let's dive into this. Awesome. Yes. Well, I haven't asked this before and, you know, I totally will preface this with, I get that a lot of doctors are like, oh, I don't have time for this. It can be delegated out potentially to an office manager, but as, but as long as the, the information trickles to the doctors, I think that's what, what's important. But, um, you know, how I have figured it out is I kind of created and, um, put together this thing called a success story. And it's just this little two page document that I give to a team member um, once they've been onboarded for at least 90 days, um, and I know like culturally they're a good fit, um, this two-page document gets put in there. And it really is kind of like the four futures we do in DSI. I kind of try to hit them with, how do you feel where you are right now physically, um, mentally, spiritually, um, you know, in all the different quadrants of your life? Where do you feel like you're at now? Um do you feel like there's growth potential for you in these areas? Where do you actually want to end up being, you know, in the next year or what have you? So they, they kind of fill out this success story and kind of tell me like, do I feel like I'm a success in these quadrants of my life? So I tell them, I want you to take this home. I want you to think about it. And I really want to get to know you by virtue of these questions. So I personally try to, with every team member, once a year, take them to lunch for a one hour, at least a one hour lunch um, and, and sit. And I go over those answers. And a lot of things I will circle in red of what I see has resurfaced multiple times. Do they feel like there's success now? If not, um, you know, whether it be professionally, personally, spiritually, physically, I like to see where do they wish they would be? And do they have kind of motivation to get there? Well, for several of my team members, financially, which this is completely, a, 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 I don't mind talking, you know, finances and things like that with them as far as, you know, where do they want to be? And for a couple of them, it was, I don't feel like a success now because I, I can't own my own home. And that didn't make me feel bad because, right, it's just kind of where they are circumstance in life. Um, or I don't own my own home. I don't, I don't, um, I don't understand finances, period, because I'm a first generation American and that's never been part of something I've ever done. So as I kind of look through all their things and figure out what's motivating them, what gives them passion, what kind of makes them excited, because they start to get excited when they talk about certain things. Um, I circle those and I kind of write them out. And then if there's a way for me to use any of that as motivation or help to get them to be be better, you know, in any of those areas, that's what I use a lot of times as motivation. So for one, or excuse me, two of them actually, 
I figured out that both of them just wanted to figure out the basics of finances, budgeting, um, how to create a budget, how to save, where do they save their money? So I set them up with a friend of mine here in town who's a financial analyst. I, you know, set up, hey, if I pay you for these amount of times to kind of sit with them, would you be willing to do that? Gave me a great deal. And they got to go and sit with him and plan out their next year free of charge. They've never been able to do that, right? And so for them, it let them kind of know I cared. I really truly want them to succeed and things like that. And I do that for every team member once a year and figure out where it is. Now I get it. Some doctors are like, I don't have time for that, but you know, you can have an office manager or something like that. Do it as long as I think it trickles up to the doctor and they make some sort of conscious effort to understand their team. Cause so many people aren't motivated just by truly money. They want to be understood and heard within their practices that they matter and that what they're trying to strive for we understand, I think. Definitely. And I, I love that. And I will say from a team member's perspective, and guys, don't worry. I know Dr. Summer is super giving. Um, we'll have a sample of these success stories so you guys can try them out. Um, we'll we'll put something on there so you guys can see an idea, a sample. Because Summer, I love that you do this. But I will say as a team member, I know you can delegate this down. But this is something really important, I feel, for doctors, knowing your team. It means the world mm-hmm. to you when your doctor actually knows your life and it wasn't delegated and they're not just hearing from the grapevine. Like I, like Summer said, you can delegate this out, but if the doctor's intentional, how cool is that to know like, hey, this bonus is going because I know you're working on getting your house or yes. whatever it is. I also feel, it's funny, I'm going to use a Twilight reference, um, but I had a doctor oh. say, <laughs> I had a doctor say, I need to imprint on my employees so they're really connected to me. Otherwise, they're connected to your office manager. If that OM goes, your team can go. And so really being invested in your team, do you know their likes and dislikes? Do you know where they want to go? And Summer, I think it's awesome that you invested in them like, Hey, this is what you really are looking for, but you're helping them see in a bigger area because I truly believe when people feel important, they feel cared about, they feel like they're, they're worthwhile of the doctor's time. As silly as that sounds. And this is so small. It's a very small thing. Summer, it's, it's one day a year that you go to lunch with these people. It's not like you're investing tons of time, but that one instance allows you to then impact the rest of the year based on this information and lets them know you truly care. And I think if you are if you really want your team to stay with you long-term, you want these people that are bought into your practice, you want people that are, that are wanting to build the practice with you, you taking a little time to invest in them. They invest in you, doctors, every single day. They're building your, your, life, your livelihood. They're building your practice. They're building your name. They're invested in you. And you taking that small amount of time to invest in them, get to know them, I believe, is is massive success and that's why I love that you called it a success story. Yeah, well, and it's and I like I said I get it that it's hard and it seems like a time commitment, but for women also and like we did like the the five love languages in our office to figure out like what people how they receive appreciation and, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. Women in general want people to spend time with them and get to know them and hear them. Men do too, don't get me wrong, but let's be honest, a lot of these dental teams are made up of women and um I think it's so important for them, you know, and I think I, I think genuinely actually wanting to know about them Mm -hmm. goes so far. Um, You know, it's easy to kind of quickly, you know, oh, your kid's birthday party. Great. But, you know, it's like, no, like really understanding like them and about their kids. And it is time consuming and it is an investment in your time. But I think we so often pour money and CE investments in. But sometimes it's as simple as being really mindful when you're with them and trying to actually listen to them, you know, on a plane flight or um, be able to spend even just a few minutes to really hear about them. I do think makes a difference. And I actually really enjoy knowing where each of them are and where they want to go. It, it really actually makes my life happier to, to have that information. Well, when I did it as an office manager, I saw those people as people. I saw that what they were doing for their work was for a person, not just for an employee at a job doing their job. They were people. And I love that you said that summer because I think it's a, once again, a check. Um, Mark and I talked about this on a podcast before of, are we focusing on the urgent or are we focusing on the important? And I think investing in your team is one of the most important things that we can do with our time because those are the people that are your raving fans. They're the raving fan employees of you. They're the ones that work hard for you. They're the ones that you can really impact on such a personal level that if you can just take those 
those little moments of opportunity. And then that also helps you see, oh, hey, this is how they learn. This is how they receive love. This is this is where they're headed with their life. This is how I, as a leader, can positively impact those that are under my care, under my watch. And that then trickles into how many thousands of people's lives that they're able to touch. And you guys all know my mission and everything I do is to positively impact the world of dental. I think this is one of the greatest ways you can do it. And Summer, I love that you're just oh, a I solid example of, of a doctor who truly cares and look at the team, look at the business, look at, look at tenfold how this has come back to you. And I know that wasn't your MO, but I think it's also really cool to see who you are, the team you've built. And it's all these pieces that you do in the background that a lot of people don't know about. So thank you for sharing. I love to hear the team and the doctor side always. So thank you so much for for dropping nuggets today for uh, us. No, thank you. Because like I said, I love hearing kind of what you do with the people around you too, because that's an inspiration to me all the time. I love it. All right, guys, Dr. Summer Kazmil, um, we will catch you next time on the Dental Team Podcast. Thank you all for listening and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. wraps it up for another episode of the Dental Aid Team Podcast. Thank you so much for listening and we'll talk to you next time.